Sesame Street. It's a sacred American pastime, a staple on PBS for 46 years. That all changed this week, and the news catapulted the children's classic to the top of Twitter trends. That's because it was announced it will have a new home. HBO, which we should point out, is owned by HLN's parent company, Time Warner. I want to bring in CNN senior media correspondent Brian Stelter to talk about this. Good morning to you, Brian. Good morning. You know, you wrote a piece about this for CNN Money, the headline being, it's a sad day for public broadcasting. Critics saying this is just the latest example of income inequality. But we should point out, this doesn't mean fade to black for Sesame Street on PBS, right? No, it actually means the opposite. There's going to be even more Sesame Street and even a spin-off that'll be in the works, all because HBO is essentially underwriting uh, Sesame Street. You know, you sometimes hear on PBS that they want your donations, they want your support. Well, HBO is now the biggest supporter of Sesame Street. They've come in and uh, agreed to fund the show for the next five years, but because of that, the new episodes will be on HBO first. If you pay for HBO, you can watch Sesame Street right away. If you don't pay, if you watch via PBS, you'll have to wait nine months to see new episodes. That's why it does feel like a moment of inequality where there are two different tiers of Sesame Street, one for paying customers, one for everybody else. But as you know, because this is what you do as, as a co covering this as a reporter, the reality of television is changing. Yeah. Public television faces huge budget shortfalls. So in a way, this could be what is saving the program. That's exactly right. That's why it's a very complicated set of emotions that we've mm -hmm. seen from Sesame Street fans. On the one hand, supporters of public broadcasting saying this is something that should be funded by the government or funded by, pri uh, by, by public dollars. But the reality is that private dollars are what Sesame Street needed in order to stay afloat. I interviewed the CEO of the uh, company, the nonprofit actually, that produces the show, and he said that the money was looking worse every year. The, the losses they were making were getting worse and worse every year. So they needed a new revenue stream. Why? because people were buying fewer and fewer DVDs of Sesame Street. Think about it. People watch online now. They can get episodes online, so they weren't buying DVDs anymore. In essence, HBO is becoming the new revenue stream, making up for those DVDs. Uh, but it does show how media is changing awfully rapidly. Streaming is becoming the new norm, and producers of programs like Sesame Street are having to adapt to that. And we want to be purists. We want to believe that Sesame Street on PBS can't be touched, but that's not the reality of the business, as you point out. What about the reaction from PBS? PBS. PBS has been pretty quiet about this. Uh, you know, they would not like to see Sesame Street going over to HBO. They wish it was just staying in their family. But I think they understand the realities of the business as well. Uh, you know, they are having to come up with new ways to keep programming on the air. And they have lots of other children's shows, uh, more than a dozen actually, some of which are actually more popular than Sesame Street. This is, of course, a nostalgic moment for yes. people because so many of us grew up watching Sesame Street the old fashioned way, with rabbit ears on top of the TV mm -hmm. over the public airwaves. But more more and more media depends on subscription revenue. That's how people are watching us right now through their cable subscription. And soon that's how Sesame Street will be paid for as well. Gone are rabbit ears. Gone with <laughs> the new episodes for at least nine months, as you point out. And there will be the repeats on PBS. Right. So it's not fade to black. Senior media correspondent Brian Stelter, thanks for being with us. Thank you.